the world number one has got to say. Rafa, well done. Uh, we were a little bit worried, some of us here in Australia, before the Open started, but uh, I think you took all those worries away from us tonight. You look pretty good. Well, good evening. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. No, uh, yeah, it have been a, a long season, a good one, but very long uh, in 2017. Uh, I was disappointed that I, I couldn't make it in, uh, in Brisbane, but... Um, yeah, I finished late and I needed a little bit more time. No? So, very happy to be here again. No? For me, it's, uh, it's a very important place, place to play. Uh, very special, unique, this uh, roll level, roll level court. It's one of the greatest atmospheres on the, on the tour, without a doubt. And for me, always, when I have the chance to be here in, in the middle of this court, in front of this crowd, it's just very, very special. Thank you very much. So, Rafa, you did have some issues at the end of last season. You were a bit sore, uh, had some problems. What did you do in the off-season to get ready for this again? <laughs> Just work. <laughs> uh, yeah, I take a little bit of time off. Uh, uh, I just straight after London, I had to stop for a while um, and then just start working step by step. No, that's, that's why I, I was not able to come to Brisbane because I, I started a little bit slower than, than usual and we wanted to do the things the right way to, to be ready for, for this season again. No? So uh, here we are. I'm very, very happy to, to be back and uh, very important beginning for me. Good start and that's uh, good news. No? Just uh, want to say thank you very much everybody here in Australia because it's always a huge support. They want you to keep coming back, Rafa. How, how many years can you keep doing this? This year we are here. Uh -huh. that's, <laughs> that's all I can say. No, uh, I, I love this sport. I love tennis. I love the competition. Uh, I know... Uh, one day uh, I will don't have the chance to play again uh, in this in this course. So I want to enjoy every moment that I'm here, and I don't want to think about how many more years I want to be, I can be here. I'm gonna try to enjoy every moment that I have the chance, and I hope to be here a lot of years. But you never know. You. Okay. So you're here, Rafa, but Uncle Tony's not. Where is he? Uh, probably in Mallorca. Yeah. <laughs> He's in the sun, in the, on the sand. Uh, no, we are not having a very good weather now. <laughs> it's a little bit colder than here. But uh, yeah, no, he's uh, on the academy. Uh, you know, he's working well with all the kids there. Uh, he always loved to, to be close to the, to the new generations. Uh, he loved uh, teaching the, the kids especially. And uh, for, for me, uh, you know, he's for sure the most important person in, in, my, in my career. No? So, um, it's, uh, it's his decision that, uh, that he's not here. I respect uh, for the academy will be a big support. I, I talked with him uh, before the match and uh, he was on court. So I hope he was watching the match. <laughs> <laughs> well, we miss him. We miss him. Tell him we miss him. Um, you play, do you want to know who you play next round? Do you know? Do you I, I know Mayer was winning. I know. Yeah. Le the winner of Leonardo Mayer and Nicholas Jarry. Any history there with those players? Uh, with Jerry, I didn't play. Uh, with uh, with Leonardo, yes, I played. Uh, yeah, I think a couple of times now. And last year in the U.S. Open, uh, third round, I think, or fourth. Uh, yeah, was a tough. Uh, I think third round was a tough one. I lost the first set, and yeah, he's a he's a very good player. Uh, he hit the ball very strong, and I, I need to be ready to compete well from the beginning. Now, so I, I hope to be ready for it. Well, I think you hit the ball pretty strong too. Uh, long may you keep playing on this court, Rafa. Thanks for coming back. Many thanks. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.